So um, Elisa and I go to the shops. But other than that, um, the house across from us is getting solar panels put in. And Elisa's like, we're getting solar panels. That's a good idea. And I was like, yeah, we have solar panels. <laughs> she was like, I didn't know that. But yeah, I think um, when mum and Stuart built the house, it was like that scheme where if you got solar panels, get money back. If you got the government gave you, gave you money back. You know, clean energy and stuff like that. Australia is actually terrible for um, global, uh, not global warming, for carbon emissions, isn't it? Yeah, and I think we have a lot. We of don't really do that much about it. Yeah, no. like compared to other countries. We, yeah, like we only solely use coal. I think. No, actually, doesn't isn't it in like um in this place called oh what's it called? There's a uni there and it starts with W. W? Wangaratta. It's not Wangaratta. It's like... Oh, come on. Help me out of here. What uni? Uh, Sinead went right there. It's, um... Warrnambool? Warrnambool, that's it. In Warrnambool, I think there's like, um... <coughs> wind, uh, wind turbines. Wind? Really? Yeah, so that's strange. Yeah, but I think it's a small proportion of, like, what's... Yeah, it'd be like but, um, less than one There was a scary thing on the news last night on SBS. <laughs> um, it's the geeky, nerdy channel that Elise watches. I watch it too, but... Um, yeah, no, there's a scary thing. The world banks are predicting that like global warming is going to have really bad impact on... Obviously, you know, it's going to have a bad impact on everything, but it's going to have a bad impact like on production of food and so everything's going to be more expensive and like the poorest countries are going to suffer the most so here's an idea for you just start back at zero is it be, be self-sufficient no start back at zero as in people everybody not everybody but you get less money but things cost less yeah i know that's that's the way they can control it you know you can go out and buy an lcd tv for you know, uh, twenty dollars instead of going out and buying one for two thousand dollars. You can buy a loaf of bread for ten cents instead of going out and buying one for two dollars. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh, they're always doing roadworks now at house. Oh, yeah. Silly. But I don't think that that would work because I mean, Pe uh, people uh, people just need to learn to spend better. But if, you're in a, well. if you're in a good money situation, or even a, a not so good lives one, beyond their means. yeah, you gotta live below your means. Yeah, but people but don't do that. But that's the way capitalism works. They like coach people to live just beyond their means, so the wealthy people stay wealthy, and the poor people never get better than poor. That's what I think. Yeah, that's working <laughs> people stay working class because they live beyond their means. Yeah, that's very true, though. Like, I mean, instead of, you know, instead of paying off your house, you buy Playstations and Foxtel and new TVs and all this crap. I don't know. Better I, computers. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's not like I know how to solve anything, but... It is true. I know how to solve everything. Yep. Don't worry about being rich, because then you get to have all your little gadgets. Like your Playstation. <laughs> so no. you're the prime product of <laughs> consumer society. Uh, Listen to you, Mrs. I go to university. Consumerism is disgusting. Blah blah blah. No, blah, I'm, a, blah. I'm a consumer. I'm proud to be a consumer. Why would you care? I want pretty things. I want things that do cool stuff. And I want to pay big amounts of money to have it. You can't tell I'm being facetious. I don't actually think that. <laughs> well, actually, part of me does. I don't know what I am. <laughs> I've told you this before, but my freaking pet hate is like SUV slash four wheel drive slash any car that's bigger than a sedan like this car it's too big the person that drives it does not know how to park it I bet you a hundred dollars this car it's too big it's just gonna cut in front of you because it's bigger than you thinking that it's awesome it's and there's there's like more everywhere around here all these stupid big cars that it's generally women who drive them I, I it sounds like I'm sexist but I'm a woman so I'm not being sexist it's generally mothers with a fair few kids, so that's why they have a big car. And they just don't know how to drive their car. They can't park it, they can't even freaking turn it. 
and they can't even be normal and courteous in it. But yeah, I swear, it's only it's only younger, not even younger mothers, just mothers with a few kids who think, oh, I need the space of having a four wheel drive um, to fit my shopping and my four children because um, it's just blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. And then they go and buy this car that guzzles, guzzles gas and it's just silly. I mean, my mum had five children and my mum drove a station wagon. That just shows you, well, I guess that's because we were all poor, but it just shows you, you can have a lot of children and drive a station wagon. You don't need a big monstrosity of a freaking car. If you live out in the country, go ahead and have a four wheel drive. I don't care, but if you if you live in the suburbs or the city, it's not necessary. If you have a lot of kids, have them have a van, like a people moving van. <sighs> if they knew how to drive them, I'd be fine with it, but they don't. So, so I've been watching a lot of Sex in the City. It's one of my favorite shows ever. It's made by HBO. What can I say? Just like The Sopranos, Band of Brothers, etc. And it's an amazing show, and I'm so sad that it's over. And only six seasons. Six seasons and two movies. <sighs> it sucks. But then, anyway, apparently, well, yeah, The Carrie Diaries is coming out, which kind of chronicles Carrie before she went to New York to, for, you know, Sex in the City to begin. Um, I actually looked up the trailer, and it looks terrible. I mean, if you're going to make... Uh, like a prequel to Sex in the City, make it good because this looks terrible and I'm really pissed because, well, f number one, I'm not even gonna watch it. Number two, it kind of ruins everything. It sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying that. I'm doing a bit of work for my gaming channel. I got my old phone cracked out, my 4S. I literally have not used it in so long. I got my fi 5 here, which has a terrible screen cover on it but I notice when I look at the screens just how much better the um, display on the iPhone 5 is compared to the 4S and I wouldn't have thought it but when I don't use it for a while it's so evident it's ridiculous it was a good purchase the baby birds are getting so big now that they barely fit in the nest I'm not gonna disturb them because they might jump out they can probably actually move now and you can't see them they're so big, I don't even think the parents fit in the nest anymore. Um, but yeah, the, the parents are just always sitting on the fence. But mum put this newspaper down and literally, that's what they've created. Newspaper full of bird crap. Look, that's the parent just, look, there he is. Look, that's the mum or the dad sitting on the fence right now. Such a beautiful bird. There we go, you can see it. I'm going to move closer. It's so beautiful. I think it's got food for its babies. Oh, there it goes. Flying out everywhere. Oh, where are you going? Just, just flew over to its babies. <coughs> now it's on the gutter of the neighbor's house. It's crazy. Crazy birds. But yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful day. It's like probably 7 p.m. You can't help but feel happy when it's so nice outside. <clears throat> I can't wait for this weekend though. The, uh, the pool is actually looking pretty clean. So swimming is definitely on the cards. Probably go for a swim with Declan. Declan will probably be here. They just fly everywhere. They like have mini little, like they bump into each other when they're flying over the pool and then they sit on the fence together. They're so cute. It's like they're a little family. It's weird because you don't think about, you know, how humans get married and all that bullshit. But these two birds built their nest and now they've had their babies and they seem to just hang out all day. It's so cute. It's like a human relationship, but better. <laughs> Time for me to go to bed. Um, it's like 12.30. I'm actually tired for once, so here's to a good sleep and a good day tomorrow. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.